we're going to take a look at how to use Streamlabs into our live streams. So Streamlabs is an app that you could use on your iOS and Android device to live stream to your favorite platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and many others. So I want to focus on a specific thing that Streamlabs does very well, and this is RTMP streaming. So it requires you to get two addresses from your uh, platform like Facebook. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to demonstrate that for you and how to get the stream keys set up in Streamlabs. I like RTMP streaming because it allows you to take more control of your live streams, specifically on the audio side. Audio will automatically sum to mono when done natively in the app on your smartphone. But if you use RTMP streaming, the stream will have stereo audio all the way through. And that's what I really like because I'm a solo piano artist, I have great microphones, and I want to really make my audio shine. So I revert to using the Streamlabs app a lot. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to show you how to get both addresses into the Streamlabs app. It takes a little bit of a workaround, but uh, this is really easy and I want to show you that. So we are in my Facebook account and what you want to do is when you log in, it looks like this generally. You want to click on live video right here and press go live. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at what I need to do to get this done. So now you can see there's a stream key and we need to find the other key here or URL, whatever you want to call it. This is one that you need to copy and this is the other one that you need to copy. And make sure to use persistent stream key. Just by clicking on this it'll turn blue and you won't have to change the key every time you go live. So in order to do this we're going to press copy. Now I'd like to go back to my Facebook here. It's a lot easier when you have two tabs open on Facebook. I'm going to go in my messenger and copy this address to myself. There's the first key, and the second key is the server URL. Boom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my smartphone and open up Streamlabs and open up Messenger. First we need to copy the stream key. So we're going to do the first one, right? We send it to ourselves. remember that. We'll do the first one and go more and press copy. And now we're going to go to our Streamlabs app. We're going to press go live and then we want to select a platform. We want to connect our first account. I'm not going to Facebook even though we could do that. I want the RTMP server option. Let's press setup on that. Now here it is, the stream key. We copied the stream key first, so this goes here. We're going to exit out. We're going to go back to Messenger. And then we're going to copy the URL. Go back to Streamlabs. There's the URL. And press paste. It'll prompt you to do the Facebook app, but we don't want to do that. There it is. That's the custom RTMP server. We could exit out, and then all we have to just do is select custom RTMP server. And then we'll do uh, a test. You know, you could just name test for now. And then we could go live from here. Now remember, we want to connect our nice audio, right? So what I have here is I just have the USB output from the mixer going into my handy dandy adapter into my smartphone. You're hearing me in Streamlabs. 
So I'm live and I'm only choosing to go to only me. So it's a private live stream. So I could test my audio and I could see how things are going with the settings. So this is me talking into my microphone. And now I'm going to play a little bit and then we'll see how it sounds. That sounded great, and yeah, Streamlabs is a great platform for doing this. Notice the audio is in stereo, which I prefer for this kind of setup for a more uh, intimate sound with solo piano music. So check it out. Um, I have a link in the description for my course, and I'll show you how to do all of this to hook up your iPhone to your mixer board and to do a nice audio test. So that's all in the link in the description below. And also, if you want to know how I'm hooking up my smartphone to my mixer board, just check out this video up here on my channel. All right, that's all for now. Thanks so much.